We are experts on stars. You are okay, experts now suppose on stars. I, I don't claim I know every one of the celebrity okay. stars. Yes, you know <laughs> Can I take a pass? How, how, do I get a whole pass? Uh, uh, do I get a... Okay, no. So now it's our time to make right. Neil not feel bad. Yes. Totally. Okay. Totally. First one. If you could compare Kim Kardashian to any space object, what space object would she be? Uh, if I had to pick a star in the universe rather than mm -hmm. just any object that resembled uh, Kim Kardashian, mm -hmm. I'd, I'd say Betelgeuse. 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 The biggest star. Because Betelgeuse is, is big and bold uh -huh. and it's in your face and you can't look in the sky can't without it, it calling right. attention to you. But she, I, I caution, Betelgeuse is prime candidate for exploding as a supernova oh, in the future. I love that. That's okay, awesome. so yeah. just a warning. I don't know just for a how. Just a warning. Uh, that's a warning. That's a warning for them. <laughs> I like Can it. Can science be used to predict who's going to break up? For example, could mm. you have predicted Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie splitting based mm -hmm. on them? Uh, I think you can, science is good in that context for predicting things statistically. So what you can look at, for marriages that are two marquee actors mm -hmm. who are themselves attractive, and but they have different work, there. you can look at the statistics of that and then you, then you can have odds mm -hmm. against or for that happening. And you could do that with good precision. Um, but to, to, for them as a couple, uh, you might say, will they break up in the next 10 years? Yes, in the next one year, I don't know. So yeah. that's how you'd have to couch it. If you okay. could star in one of the following sci-fi series, what, which, which would it be? Stranger Things or X-Files or Doctor Who? Oh, Doctor Who. Oh yeah. my gosh. Oh, I'd hang out with, uh, with the Time Lords. Yeah. Totally. And I wanted to see that it's bigger on the inside. And yeah. And then Stranger Things, that, but I've heard great things I've heard about great that. I've heard things about it too. I haven't I'm going to check yet. on that. There's mm -hmm. some wormhole action there. Yeah. Some portals. So that could, but Doctor Who has 40, 50 years of legacy there. Mm -hmm. You got to give them props for <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. um, one of our producers wants to know is Benedict Cumberbatch really an alien? <gasps> Benedict Cumberbatch. I always, I always transpose him with Cabbage Patch. Cumberbatch. <laughs> <laughs> one in the same. <laughs> yeah. I, I think every now and then someone comes along, like Isaac Newton, like Albert Einstein, like Benedict. Cumberbatch. Cabbage Patch, <laughs> where they are just far beyond anybody else's talent in what it is they do. Mm -hmm. So that is the best evidence that aliens are sending us um, people because they know that we're lagging behind and mm -hmm. we need some help to get better actors, better <laughs> scientists, better whatever. So I count them definitely an alien. Right, definitely. 100%. <laughs> 100%. You heard it here. You heard it here. <laughs> and he was great. And he was in is Zoolander he? too. Yes. Okay, yeah. as, as a trans person. And, and there were some criti criticisms about that, right, but right, if you right. just look at his face, where he was like making you, my gosh, he's like, <laughs> he's, he's, he's facing me. <laughs> no, he, he's, he was doing things yeah. with his face. So that, funny. Oh my gosh, his eyebrows and his, <laughs> and it's like, what is he doing to me? <laughs> No, no. So he doesn't even have to utter a word to right. just just steal the show. Oh my God, so, so alien funny. all the way. Yeah. Okay. Is there a science behind who becomes famous? I know in your books they talk, talk a lot about the science behind you know love or comedy. Is there a science behind who becomes famous? I don't know, but I can tell you that whatever's your mastery of the medium that most people have access to. That is a sure sign, a sure pathway to fame. And there's another one. We, you know, we spent way more time in the caves than we ever did with what we t today call civilization. Mm -hmm. So you want to talk about sort of evolutionary forces. Who is the most important person in the cave? It's the hero who went out and brought back the food. That person is bigger than life. You want to have that person's babies, mm -hmm. okay? We now, that doesn't happen anymore. Right. You don't try to have babies with the person who just went to the corner grocery store. Mm -hmm. That's not good enough. Right. But you, but that gene that's in us that wants to reproduce with the most powerful person, we are tricked into thinking that the person on the biggest, uh, on the biggest uh, uh, pallet, the screen, mm -hmm. the silver screen, that's the person yeah. who's bringing back my food, even though they're not. Right. Okay. <laughs> because they're the richest, they're the best looking, they're yes. the best partner to. Th right, right, exactly. But I don't. But I think it's not coming from richest, best looking. It's coming from bigger than life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The person mm -hmm. who brings back the food is bigger than life. Mm -hmm. And so the fame factor now is just: can you duplicate that singular uh, need 
in the psychology of who's looking at you. Mm -hmm. And if you do that, then you're famous. This has been amazing. Thank you this so, amazing. so much. Oh, it's over? It is, unfortunately. <laughs> it's it's over? over? Believe me, we can sit here and talk to you all day long. <laughs> We're going to kidnap you. We're going to keep you right. in this wormhole. You want to put the whole universe in 20 minutes? I know. <laughs>